and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to be going over the top 10 most overpowered players in Madden 20 right now, guys. Now, as far as the list goes, got quite a few new additions to the list with, a, with a pretty much an influx of 98 so we've gotten in the recent weeks. I'm putting them in order from worst to greatest, but again, if you're on the top 10 list for the most overpowered players in Madden, it's probably no worse, but you are definitely worse than some of the other players on this list. So, heading over to the auction block, start going and starting at number 10. Now, guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always. Always help out the channel. And let's just keep going, boys. So let's go over to 98. To 90, oh, actually, the first one will not fall into this category. The first one's a guy that's got to be a way. I got to kick the list off with him. He's a little bit of a lower overall in comparison to some other guys. But he's still a monster. He still gets the job done. He still is a do-it-all type of receiver. And that's going to be Calvin Johnson now. That's a low price of 201K. You get pretty much everything you need in a receiver, quite honestly. You're getting tight end height. Well, let's compare him to mine. You're getting tight end height with Tyreek Hill speed once you put Sprinter on him. He's a 98 speed, which I'm mad he's a 99. With the jumping of 99, with the catch and traffic and the spec catch close to 99, with great route running, you pretty much got an all-world all receiver. You can do pretty much everything with him, which is kind of why I like that card. Had he been smaller, he'd still be good, but he wouldn't be quite to the effect of what he can do with it. He gets some pretty crazy animations. Coming in at number 9 is a guy that I don't think will be here for too long, which is Davion Clowney. Now, at this moment in time, he is the most overpowered right outside linebacker in Madden. But that only be the only reason I have him low is because I do believe a Lawrence Taylor will come soon to replace him. But for the time being, that speed in Excel is quite different in comparison to other outside linebackers right now. The strength's a little bit lower, tackle's similar to him, but that play wreck is crazy, the block shit's crazy, and the power move is crazy. Difference is Lawrence Taylor have a crazy finesse move, which can be a little bit faster as well as a similar block shed. Less play wreck still, but probably better speed in Excel. Trust me, Lawrence is going to be better, but Clowney can also, if you leave him in his zone, maybe swat a pass or get a pick or two, just because of his height. Very tall, very fast. Guard's great. I just don't think that I will use him over Lawrence because I already have Lawrence powered up. Next, at quarterback. At number seven, we're going to be putting, or should I say number eight, my bad, Lamar Jackson. Now, this card still got to be on the list. Now, I do believe that he will be overshadowed by his golden ticket, of course. But for the price, he's still going to be on the top 10 list. But they're just we're getting some other running quarterbacks with some better passing right about now. But this card's still overpowered. You put him on the right team with the right chemistries, you can get his ass to about 90. No, with John Madden and Sprinter, you can get his, him to a 99 speed with go deep. 96 throw power i believe 96 throw power with john madden passing and everything 90 like five throw deep as well as like a 92 or 93 throw mid with like a 97 throw short as well as a 99 throw under pressure and like a 99 throw on the run this car can still be an awesome passer with the crazy athleticism if used properly with the right chems otherwise it would just be a pretty great mobile quarterback where you really do need those chems in my opinion to make it really work now as far as lamar if you want to get him you can power up past him, which is kind of why I like him so much, because you can't just power up past right past him. Next on the list, guys. Now, this guy is an all-around weapon. If you play if you play the right scheme of offense and you know how to use him, this card could be super, super glitchy. Now, for multiple reasons. There's a reason why he's so expensive as an LTD, because people know the value of a Sequoia. Now, let's start with just your, your run game, right? A 93 speed with a 94 lead block, a 90 impact block, and a 90 run block. Pretty much whoever he lead blocks on, he's either going to hold the block, pancake him or twist and push him up field which is like when you're doing like a stretch run he leads for you he's the kind of guy that will steal the edge and let you go around other fullbacks don't get there in time you get tackled other fullbacks just barely get there in time and they meet even and they can reach elite you trust me okoye could literally change your run game or make it at least significantly better if you use your fullback to lead as well as you can also trick people by sending them on a route and people are watching everywhere else and not know where your fullback has the ball and can burn down the field you can send him on a streak right up the field where people aren't watching the fullback as well as you can go ahead and actually run with him on like a fullback dive he's fast enough to get to the hole he can truck he's strong he has great carrying trust me this card is so useful if you use him properly do i do i think break the bank for him no you have to be like really extremely rich in madden or or you have a power pass which i don't think i'd waste on him anyways number six on the list is going to be mean joe green he is the perfect blend of athleticism strength block shedding power move play rectangle he can literally do everything you compare him to my current defensive tackle, which is Geno Atkins. Again, Geno Atkins is actually pretty good, but in terms of like power move, they have the same exact thing. And here's the difference. Most defense, like Geno Atkins is a power rush and defensive tackle, but he doesn't have great block shed. Mean Joe Green powered up will have a 99 block shed, so he'll be the best run stuffer in the game, or at least tied for it. 
He'll be one of the best, and power up and chem depot have been like a 99 power move. He'll be one of the best pass rushers in the game, as well as one of the best tacklers in the game. Geno Atkins doesn't have a great tackle, which means running backs to really get around his ass. 97 strike, gonna be one of the strongest guys in the game, as well as a better speed than Geno Atkins, slightly, but it is there. So you get a defensive tackle like a run stuff, block shed, and pass rush. And you can do each one well, not just like decent. That, that That's a card right there, especially end game type because they're gonna get everything you need pretty much to 99. Next on the list, coming in at number five, is a guy that I really am high on right now, Byron Jones. This card's insane, guys. This card's literally insane. Compare him to Dion real quick. Now, you have to remember, Dion's back at the card stats don't properly show what he's capable of, obviously. He has, like, the juke. He has the spin. He has the looseness, the ball carrying, all that other stuff. But compared to the front of the card stats, you power up him up Byron Jones. You put power him up Sprinter and John Madden. Him and Dion both have 99 speed. With everything I just said, he'll have 99 so. They both 99 agility. Byron now beats him at jumping. So, so far, Byron's ahead. Beats him in play right by one. He's ahead even more. Man coverage, you're not going to be able to get it there. Man coverage for Byron's going to probably end up capping at around a 95, 96. So, he fi Dion finally beats him in one stat there. And then zone, Byron blows him away because Byron's going to have a 99 zone. While Deion Sanders, oh, Deion Sanders ends up having like a 97, 98. But Byron initially was better in press. 99 press is good when he's powered up versus probably gonna have him on my team like an 86 so beats him by about 13 on press and press is huge that's a big part of playing cornerback but the issue is where byron gets you know beat a little bit is gonna be his agility is awesome 99 by the way this byron's amazing the only thing in my opinion that's gonna really kill him is that catching because dion can get a lot of picks byron's not known for getting a lot of picks in real life but the catching and all that so i mean obviously he's not gonna be taking kicks back but i mean the kicks back or picks back but 99 agility guys he can do he could literally do everything you need him to on the defensive side of the field he's just not a great offensive player but that's okay because it's not exactly what I when I get a cornerback I don't look for like what can he always do after the catch I look for can he get the catch or can he get or can he make a play because he's agile if he can't get the pick it's fine because he's gonna be super lock and for that price you really can't beat that in my opinion I just noticed we have no 98 halfbacks that's gonna change real soon as far as halfbacks go though I still think we gotta get Saquon Barkley coming at number four in the list being the best halfback in Madden still gotta keep at least in the top five on the list for 290 not bad Eric Dickerson not too far behind the Saquon again, guys, no brainer. Powered up, chemmed up, and everything. Ends up with about a 99 speed with John Madden and Sprinter. Ends up with about a 98 Excel. Ends up with a 99 agility, 99 carrying, 82 catching, 94 elusiveness, about a 99 break. Oh no, a 99 break tackle, and about a 90 truck. Cut overall, just insane, guys. Still the best running back in Madden. I do anticipate that we'll be changing pretty soon, guys. So don't, 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 don't go buying them out right about now. I do think we will be getting some crazy ultimate legend like a barry sanders so i'm pretty soon that should rival a lot of these a lot of these guys next on the list coming at number three who i really really love and i'm playing to power pass soon is gonna be night train lane guys now this card now here's here's the difference between him and byron now you compare him to dion here's gonna be the difference so obviously come speed wise we power but uh, night train lane for sprinter and john madden he gets a 98 speed gonna be slower than byron excel is gonna be a little bit slower than byron agility is gonna be a little bit worse by like one Jumping is going to be a 99 at the end of the day. Play Rex is going to be, I believe, a 97, 98. Man coverage is the same as Byron. The zone is going to be the same 99. And press is going to be a little bit less. So Byron beats him as a coverage guy. That's, that's, he beats him as a cornerback. But here's the difference between Nitro and Lane that really makes the difference. His strength is a 79. That's important. His catch is an 83. So he's kinda, he has like that he's a Deion Sanders type. So pretty much, it's like, but to sum it all up, Nitro and Lane is the culmination. If Deion Sanders... You put Deion Sanders together with like a linebacker and a little Byron Jones. Like he has like the coverage and athleticism. He has a little bit less coverage and athleticism than Byron. He's got the catching and the return, the returning ability of Deion Sanders. And he has the hit power of, not, of, a, of a linebacker, which is purely why people love him. So you have to realize that his impact blocking is decently high with a 69. His block shedding is a 69 and his hit power is a 95 so that's 96 powered up he's going to be able to lay the boom like a, like a safety like sean taylor like that's just the beauty of him because when running backs go to his side you can hit stick that running back and you will you will knock him out you can hit stick anyone you want on the field and he's able to hit stick anyone he's gonna force fumbles trust me this card is super super good he's like the jack he's, he's like the jack of all trades he's great at everything but he's not exceptional at anything but that, that's the beauty of him like he's almost at everything he almost has not done everything I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on Night Train Lane as the best cornerback in Madden, because he probably is. Next is Randall Cunningham on the list. This card just came out, guys. Power up and chem up. He will get 99 throw. He will, first off, speed. He'll get 96 speed with everything that I've been talking about. He'll get a 99 throw power. 
a 94, 95 throw short, a 91 throw mid, a 99 throw deep, 95 throw under pressure, probably like a 99 throw on the run, and like a 93 play action. But the beauty of him is going to be this 99 agility powered up. He gets human joystick. And with the, the addition of four abilities last night, he can get human joystick. I don't know the other abilities he can get, but human joystick, he's the first human joystick quarterback. So he's got to be at least in the top five. He made it in the number two spot. He's kind of like a mixture of Lamar and Mahomes. I guess passing slightly better than Lamar, way better arm than Lamar throwing wise, like a throw power, but less speed. So you got to substitute the speed for that. But this card is pretty, pretty, pretty insane in my opinion. I really love this card, but again, number one on the list. Got to stick with Mahomes. Just pound for pound has to be the best quarterback in Madden. He has then he gets 99 throw under pressure, 99 throw on the run, 90 play action, 99 throw power, 99 throw deep, 95 or 96 throw mid, 99 throw short. He gets like an 80 sprinter and everything. He's gonna get like an 88 speed, I believe. Pound for pound, just the best quarterback. Four less speed than Randall Cunningham when he has everything on him. His base card, of course. Which again, I don't use him to run, but when you need to, he can, which is the beauty of Pat Mahomes. And, and he's just he was cheaper than a lot of them at the time. I mean, Randall Cunningham's obviously come down quite a bit since yesterday at around 450 now, but still, Mahomes just still the only 99 card. Four ability slots on him, exceptional passer. You guys, that concludes our most overpowered list. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are new, make sure to go below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.